I so I just took this from my console table. I'm trying for my background to look cute for you guys, okay? Um that's fine. Yeah, but anyways, you guys won't even see this. Oh my god, my goodness. This is not what this video is about. This video is about drum roll, please. The famous, famous, famous checkers points. Um, I don't know how many times I've seen these on, on Instagram, but I remember when I bought my first set last year, December, I was ecstatic. I actually have a video, I'm gonna link the video where I did the unboxing here on YouTube. I was ecstatic, even on Instagram, I was so happy. I love me those ports. And today I went and got another set, okay? This is a review video. I wanted to have used them enough in order for me to do a review. I can't review a product if I haven't used it enough. And also, I need to give the product a chance, you know? Because I know some of you guys asked me probably around March this year to do a review. I was like, I've only had them for three months, you know? So I can't really, and I don't cook that often, so I can't really give any opinion at this point uh, uh they're still fine all i'm gonna say is that they're still fine i hope the head is fine anyways um there's also load shedding so it's a bit dark i'm trying to use mine okay anyways um i always digress <laughs> enough and i feel like i can now give you guys a review right there are good parts and there are bad parts but i think you guys can kind of understand that i really love them it's mostly the good parts the fact that i went and bought another set this is not sponsored okay i swear i love checkers by the way right set is a seven piece cookware let me show you guys it's a seven piece cookware set uh forged aluminium right there's seven of them um and, and you can as you can see here there's like one two three right and then the fourth one and then obviously you're gonna count the leads as well right so that's how the set is with me i have one of the pots from the previous set the one that i have been using for a year so i'm gonna give you the pros and the cons right the things that i love and the things that i don't like so much about the pot so let me start with what i love aesthetically they make sense like as i think that is also one of the reasons why i bought them like aesthetically they just make sense they're so gorgeous or like you can even just put them on top of them um on top of the stove without even using them they'll go very nice and they go very nice with my kitchen so just aesthetically they make sense right okay one two they cook just fine like there's no issues they cook like any other thing and the third thing you can also double them up as casserole dishes which is another thing i like you can actually serve with them so they serve two purposes you can serve with them you can also um, um, um cook with them which is point number three i really like that those are the three things that i like about these pots so what i don't like so much about these pots when they wear and tear for me i really do not like it i don't, don't want to lie uh because here the pots come with a gold thingy um there's like a gold i don't know what it is like a cover gold cover here but then i think after heating um um, um you know after obviously consistent heating that thingy wears off like this and then but for me it's just like don't put that thing if it is up because these are pots they are obviously gonna be heated so if that thing is gonna be is also so by heat like well, then what's the point you know i didn't understand that i didn't like that rather leave them silver like thing i don't like about it after heating for some time this is what happens it does stay right it does stain let me show you guys it does this is my pants in it um it does stain here and the problem with that once it starts this is overheating right once it starts staining it's so hard to take that off I have not found a way to take that stain off. I have tried literally everything I know, okay, to use on aluminum pots. I even tried things that, you know, you would normally use on cast iron pots. I've tried everything, I, literally vinegar, baking soda, um, hydrogen peroxide. Um, listen, I've tried so many things, nothing has worked on the stain. So if you have these pots and they also have um, or had this and you manage to take it off please drop a comment down below and let us know how you did it i tried i couldn't i couldn't now i just live with them like that right that's the second thing but with that 
I want to, I'm not sure if you've watched my other video, I think I did go through the instructions with you, but let's go through the instructions so that we can kind of understand the stains. One of the care instructions here, I like reading care instructions on new products because I really kind of like knowing how to take care of the product, right? So one of the thing here, they do say that, let me see, where is it? yeah here i think it's point number seven right they say the heating and extreme temperature shock can cause brown or blue stains this is not a defect in the product it occurs from using cookware on too high heat temperatures so that's how i know that this stain was caused by overheating right so is that okay so another care instruction that is in here that really helped me uh or actually helped me taking care of the product for them to last at least a year i know some people said after three four five months the pots were already not non-sticky um, um anymore uh they were you know already sticky yeah, like food can stick and stuff like that because I read the care instructions and I read them before, there's this thing, and this is something I know with cast iron uh, pots as well, I think. Um, it says um, to protect against scratches, only use wooden. Wooden as in... Okay, mauza um, misa, ne? Wooden or silicon utensils do not use metal or sharp edged utensils and tools, right? And I know some people that said after three months, the pots are already off. They're not non-sticky anymore and stuff. And I did say to them, it could be that you were not using wooden. I was very careful uh, for the longest time with this pots for nine months, eight months, making sure that I use um, 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 only uh, wooden utensils or the silicone ones. Because of that, mine were non-sticky for a very long time. At this point in time, they're not non-sticky anymore. Even the pan is not non-sticky anymore. And I have a reason for that. Okay, so the reason for that, the re why I think, right, mine are not non-sticky anymore, I think it's because um, I have Uma Veronica who comes and cleans for me every now and then. And I forgot to tell her that my Evasa, these Anga you see the see pot scrape and my mama cleans pots the way she or she knows how to clean pots. So what happened is that she scratched the inside and I think the the, 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 the bottom as well with the pot scrape. Yeah, when the pot scrape or oh, still I don't know, but the pots tend like this on the inside. If you can see, can I get closer? Can you see? They tend like that on the inside. So I think that is the reason. So with yours as well, try and not use, try and use soft sponges and soft minkies only, like your minkies only, and not use pot scrape or e e steel wool because it's gonna be like that in the end. I think that's the reason why it's not non-sticky anymore, right? Okay. And then also this wear and tear here. Can you see? here after some you and this is after a year you know and also i don't know how long you're supposed to use pots for i really don't know and i think maybe it also depends on the material of the pots and which pots they are you know that you have do you have steel do you have um um you know cast iron aluminium it probably depends on which ones you have uh but for me i think at least for at least these ones a year max and that's what i've realized a year max should be enough right um so uh those are the i hope i did not forget anything so those are the good and the bad things that i liked about the pots and i did try to give you some solutions for some and but for the staining i honestly have no idea how to get rid of the stains i tried everything i could not find anything so if you have please please comment down below and share with us so we can use uh we can use them but now what i'm more excited about is to unpack these ones um unbox these ones with you guys they are absolutely gorgeous i don't even want to lie they are gorgeous and and i like them using i like using them in december as casserole dishes as well so that really really like gets me excited um Someone from Checkers would ever watch this. 
anyone from product whatever can oh my goodness look at that this is a brand new one brand brand new one literally you need to remember it's gonna be like this <laughs> after a year um but I, i'm gonna try and take care of these ones for as long as i can but i think with these ones i really tried but i think i did make some mistakes here and there so i'm giving them a second chance okay i am giving them a second chance to see how they're gonna treat me this time and this is the second one oh my goodness they are just so gorgeous i really really like this this is one of the reasons why i bought this pot but it's just so sad that it after some heating it goes away it's just like so sad um and this is the there you go okay i'm gonna show you once they i've taken all of them out just gonna take one of them out for now and i like this terrazzo looking thing that's going on here i like the bottom like i really really like them like the fact that i'm giving them a second chance that means i really really do like them um i did see something um i did something did see something similar from was it at home ah, not at home as i say at home zip black i saw something similar way was it take a lot or oh. Uh, was it macro? I don't know. But as I can see, cast iron. But they were like, I think they were very nice. I was like, okay, maybe I would go for those ones. But I think they were like one point eight, and these ones are one point two. When I bought them last year, they were a thousand rands. They were on sale, and this year they are one point two. So I was like, ah, let me save that. You know, three hundred rands, four hundred rands for something else. So yeah, this is um, them. Yeah, that's. It. I hope I did not forget anything. If you have the pods, please drop a comment down below. Let me know what your experience was or what your experience has been if you found the solution for the staining in the pots after overheating because i think that's such a, a disadvantage because at the end of the day the pots are gonna overheat i mean like it's just like they are going to heat you know um they are going to overheat like chances of them not overheating are very slim because we cook with them so that means all these pots are gonna have this you know the stains so if you found a solution to those stains please drop me drop a comment down below and let us know so we can also try it and see if it's gonna work for us but yeah i hope uh that it does give you some sort of an idea or like some caution um um or just it you know some sort of knowledge or awareness before you go and buy the parts for yourself uh for me i would definitely definitely give them a 7 out of 10 or even yeah 7.5 out of 10 they're really really good i just don't like the staining and the way in tear that's it but other than that they are amazing um that's it for today i will definitely see you next time thank you thank you so much for being here i appreciate you for watching i will see you next time i think i'm gonna make some eggs